Trans fats and too many calories may not be the only reason for America's obesity problem. Stephen Perrine, author of The New American Diet, is here to explain why some chemicals we encounter every day are now being called obesogens. Obesogens? Did I get that right? Obesogens. All right. I'd never, I've never heard that term before. Well, it's a term that was only really coined by researchers in 2009. Right. But even the American Medical Association has now come out and said obesogens probably play a major role in the American obesity crisis. So we're not just talking about overeating and kind of the things that we normally uh, associate with it, obesity. It's not just calories in and calories out. There's another factor. Okay. And these are uh, chemicals that get into our foods and beverages mm -hmm. that mess with our hormonal systems okay. and cause us to gain unnatural amounts of weight. Right. Oh, uh, is this based like a, like on diet soda, the reaction, you drink a diet soda and sometimes your body thinks it really isn't, uh, whatever you, it's drinking isn't the same, it's almost just like having the sugar in it? Well, interestingly, there are, some, there are some studies that now show that diet soda can actually lower your metabolism. And that's one of the things that obesogens do. They, uh, they mimic estrogen, uh -huh. so they lower our testosterone levels, they lower our ability to burn fat, and they cause the fat cells that we have to be more effective at holding on to fat and gaining weight. And you know what, this is one of those, oi, 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 tell me more bad news, but explain. But it's, it's actually good news. Because, because if you, the more you know, then you, you have a- You can uh, actually eat the foods that you like right. as long as you're eating around certain uh, obesity. So we have a table full of stuff here. I'm, gonna t you, I'm sure you're gonna tell me what's right and what's wrong. Sure, well one of the things we need to worry about is pesticides. Right. You know, the average American is exposed to between 10 and 13 pesticides every day. 90% of them have been linked to obesity. Jeez. Certain foods, especially those with permeable skins mm -hmm. like apples, uh, pears, right. peaches, um, imported grapes, tend to be loaded in, with pesticides. So when we order these, we, or when we buy them, we right. look for organic versions of okay. them, whenever right. possible. Okay. Fruits that have, uh, like citrus fruits, bananas, fruits that you peel, less of an issue because they're not as permeable, the pesticides don't get in. Sure, because you're gonna go all the way. <laughs> it's, these are fake. <laughs> These are, <laughs> this is real. You don't want to eat this. Real. You don't want to eat this. This would be plastic and that would be bad for you. This is real. Okay, very good. I'm sorry. All right, what about meats? <laughs> okay, this is the bad news. This is the scary news. The average cow yeah. is injected with six different hormones designed mm. to cause artificial weight gain. Sure, sure. So when you eat, uh, when you eat that beef, right, you're eating, you're those, eating hormones. those hormones. Yeah. Um, Looking for hormone-free, mm -hmm. grass-fed beef is a way to avoid those hormones. In fact, you can eat uh, seven grass-fed steaks still not get as much fat as you get in one conventionally raised steak. Wow, the people on the other side of that would say, well, there's some more fat in it, and that's what makes it more flavorful, but so... And also the six hormones that you're getting, and mm. unless you are you know, a bodybuilder, right. I don't know that you necessarily want to get yeah. all those bodybuilding okay. hormones into your body. All right, what do we have here? So these are an example of some grass-fed steaks, mm -hmm. uh, just as delicious, right? Um, but... Again, you're skipping all the artificial hormones. But you're also going to pay a little bit of a premium. You're going to pay, a little, pay bit a little bit more, a right? A little bit more. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, there are ways to save money by ordering them over the internet. You mm. can find them at uh, various stores. I've even found grass-fed beef at Costco. Right. So there are ways to buy it officially. Way to go. I like that. Now, what are we doing down here with this? One of the one of the other concerns we have is about plastic packaging. Mm -hmm. um, you'll find a lot of this stuff in your pantry, or your fridge right now. There's a chemical called BPA. We've well, heard sure, a lot sure, about. Sure. Sure. It. The FDA recently warned right. us about it. Uh -huh. Well, BPA has been linked to heart disease, to diabetes, right. to obesity. Cor in fact, the more BPA in your body, right. the higher your risk of heart disease. And even if you think it's a tin can per se, that sometimes tin can there's is a lined plastic. with plastic resin. Yeah, exactly. So when you're buying tuna or baby formula. You need to be aware that fatty foods tend to be loaded with BPA. Wow. There's an easy switch, though. Right. A look for, for example, buy tuna in pouches, right. which does not come in BPA uh, loaded containers. And the great thing is you can eat all of these foods, mm -hmm. and people who try the New American diet stripped away 15 pounds, just six weeks, still eating all the foods they wanted. Wow. Just don't eat the plastic. Oranges. Stay away from the plastic. All right, thanks, man. Thank really you, Harry.